This is my mixing and administrating insulin checkoff. So I would take my doctor's orders and compare it with the MAR. I would gather my insulin, check the expiration date, make sure it is the correct type of insulin and the dose. All right, I would go in the patient's room and I would identify the patient with name, date of birth. I would wash my hands, put on gloves, and do a focus assessment. I would make sure that the glucose was in a normal range to give the insulin. And since I am giving regular insulin along with the NPH, I would make sure that they had something to eat in about 30 minutes. So again, I'm going to check, make sure the insulin that I do have is what the doctors ordered. I'm going to clean both of them. I'm going to inject, the doctor has ordered 10 units of MPH and five units of regular. I'm going to inject five units of air into the MPH. I'm sorry, 10 units of air and five units of air into the regular. I'm then going to draw up the regular five units. And then my 10 units of MPH. Alright, I then want to get another nurse to check and verify the dose of the insulin. Alright, so I have my patient here. And if you can pinch one inch, you go at a 45 degree angle. If you can pinch two inches, you go at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to say that I can pinch two inches. All right, I'm going to clean the area with the alcohol prep. And I'm going to check one more time to make sure I have the correct dose and the correct patient. Alright, so, after I've cleaned the area, I'm going to pinch the skin, go in at a 90 degree angle, and inject the medicine. I'm going to come out, apply pressure to it, and then I would throw away the dirty needle in the biohazard. I would then remove my gloves, wash my hands, and document.